Hey, fellas. So I just got finished porting up the uh, 359, Husqvarna 359, and I wanted to show you what I got. <clears throat> so first off, well, first off, I should tell you that um, Matt House, he is, um, I don't know if I would say a guru, but he does an excellent job on these uh, 359s. And, uh, well, he does an excellent, excellent job on everything, but I've been particularly impressed with uh, his 359 builds and, and the 353 builds as well. They're, the, the cylinders are set up very similar on those two saws. And um, so I reached out to him and he uh, gave me some good numbers, told me what to do. And um, so we got a whole lot of his influence and a little bit of mine which probably comes by mistake. <laughs> anyway, so um, he told me to take 40 thousandths out of the squish. And uh, so I just did that. I immediately just went to it and did it. I didn't check the numbers, nothing. I just cut 40 thousandths out of the squish. We can, uh, we can correct it here and there as we go if I took too much or too little. Anyways, I cut the base then to match and I have... Um, now I have a 21 thousandth squish. And um, and then from there I went at it with porting it and let's see the cylinder. So whenever I first uh, put this back on after I measured the squish and everything, my port numbers were showing up 84 on the intake, 104 on the exhaust. And after talking with Matt a little bit, um, those seemed like uh, odd numbers and so then I went and I took my saw and I placed it in the vise and I took another measurement again and what we got was more reasonable to what I think he sees most of the time and that is the intake floor was uh, at 79 point something you know so we're at 79 degrees on the intake floor I did not do anything with that other than just uh, clean up the intake and give it a little bit of a texture because a little bit of texture on the intake side is better than smooth on the exhaust um, I did you know if you watch the channel I do not um, buy into polishing an exhaust but it is really nice and smooth um, I smoothed it out I think I'm using 220 grit on that so it is it's it's nice and smooth it's not polished like some guys do um, I don't do that I widened it up a good bit and um, uh, I raised the roof and we're at 104 on the exhaust roof now the transfers is where my influence comes in with a little bit of a screw-up <laughs> so I was trying hard I really was so let's see those transfers down there I got them as flat as I could get them across the top using a uh, this real little guy right here. There we go. Really nice and flat across the top. And um, he basically told me to uh, shoot for 16 degrees of blowdown. And um, I, I got uh, probably closer to, let's see, what did I get? I, I got 118. And it's at 104, so we're looking at um, 14 degrees of blowdown. So that's not too good, but it'll probably be great. Maybe, who knows, maybe I found something crazy. Uh, with the lowers, all I did was um, I opened them up right here. Let me get something to point with. There we go. I opened, I took this wall out a little further, not much, just a little bit, and uh, I rolled it over nice and smooth. Here's your intake, and I also, this side right here, I smoothened that out. It was a nice hard line right there. Well, I smoothed it out to a nice soft line. Um, but yeah. I got them as flat as I could across the top. Right here, they look rounded, and they are. But on the inside, where it matters, they're nice and flat. So, yeah, we're at about 
118 degrees uh, when the blowdown kicks in, so that gives us about 14 degrees of blowdown. And um, he had suggested aiming for about 16 degrees of blowdown. But there it is. We're done. I've got it all smoothed out. i got a nice bevel on that exhaust right here. Um, doesn't really show up on camera, but smoothed it out with, uh, I beveled it, then I smoothed it out with sandpaper, and these, uh, transfers right here, all I did was sandpaper. I didn't bevel them at all. Um, so, yeah, 40 thousandths out of the squish, however much, I think it took about, uh, 30 thousandths off the base, 25, 30 thousandths off the base, something like that, and, uh, that gave me a squish of 21 thousandths. And uh, 104 on the exhaust, 79 on the intake, 14 degrees of blowdown. So, now I'm going to, I'll probably slap this thing back together. Uh, but then I'll got, I've got to move on to the uh, exhaust. Here's the muffler. Got a baffle right in there. So this will just get cut straight, slap across, you know, I'll, I'll cut it right there at that seam and cut that entire baffle out and weld it back together and do a three quarter inch pipe coming out of it. So that's that. Time to move on to the exhaust and you'll see this thing in the wood pretty soon. I don't know if it'll be today, but um, yeah, it'll be soon. Uh, definitely will put it up against itself with the 24 inch bar in that big oak um, and see what a difference this is all is going to make. I'm certain that it is going to be a real runner. Is it going to have the torque that the 620 does? I doubt it. I mean, the 620 has like a almost a 38 inch stroke. I think it is. Maybe it's almost a 37 inch. Uh, so, did I say inch? Millimeter. Um, it's either got about a 37 or about a 38 millimeter stroke. A really long stroke on that engine. Really, really, really long. Um, I, I think it's about 37 millimeters of stroke, which it's got the stroke of an 80 cc plus saw. Um, so lots of torque with those 620s. And, uh, it, but if I can get this thing to run close to that torque wise, um, and, but it be more of a screamer, <laughs> boy, wouldn't that be great? Uh, we'll see. Uh, it, it is a really, really nice chassis. Uh, feels closer to a 50 CC chassis. It's really small. Um, and, uh, so the potential of it being the best 60 CC saw ever is there. I don't know if it will be or not. Uh, but you know, I know his run really amazing. Um, Barry's, uh, he's a friend of mine. He's been in a couple videos. Barry has one. And I think the only thing that Barry did was a base gasket delete and a little bit off of the top of the exhaust. And, and of course a muffler mod. And from what little tiny testing I did, it was more powerful than my 562 XP. Um, haven't seen it in big wood or anything like that. Not at all. So I, I can't tell you for sure. But uh, boy, it would be a nice saw if it outperformed the 620. Because a little thing that y'all don't quite know yet, but I do. And that is the results are in. And the 620 is definitely faster than the 562. My, you know, but I ported it, you know, and it, it should be, right? But uh or at least, yeah, the last time I checked them, they had different chains, so whatever. But more to come on the 359. That's all for this video right now, and check you later.